Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Formative Film School. I'm Ted with the A-Team. Today I'm here with Stephen Herod. Stephen Herod is a sound professional that has worked on the sets of Vice, HBO, and ABC shows. Today he's here to talk to us about the four different microphone pickup patterns and which ones you choose for which job. The first microphone that we're going to talk about is a microphone that has an omnidirectional pattern. What do I mean by omnidirectional? It means the pickup pattern is like this. So it's circular. So it's basically all encompassing. It's it's grabbing a little bit of everything. So that what that means is that from the from the microphone, the distance that's picking up is even all around it. So it's really like a sphere. Yeah. So the types of microphones that are going to be omnidirectional are particularly lavalier microphones. So you've got like the Sennheiser ME2, the old trusty standby. So because it is picking up everything evenly around it, uh, to be selective with an omnidirectional microphone, you gotta bring it closer so that his sound is being focused on the closer the microphone is. Next microphone we have is a cardioid microphone. This is similar in terms to the omnidirectional in that it's got a wider pickup pattern, but it's a little bit more direct towards the front. So a heart shape, and that heart shape is coming from the front of the microphone going forward. So the types of mics that are gonna have this are dynamic mics. I'm talking about mics that vocalists have for when they're singing or microphones that you would use on red carpet interviews or something that newscasters have. So then why do they use cardioid microphones in general on red carpet events as opposed to even more narrow pickup patterns? Well, it's just better in terms of you're gonna get the whole space. We're gonna get the idea that it is a, uh, it's a red carpet event or you're in a live scenario. And you hear the people chattering yeah, a little bit in exactly. the background. Not too loud, but you get a sense that there's life in the space. Exactly, yeah, yeah it's just giving a more uh, full sound. So it's selective, but it's not uh, too selective in a lot of senses. Exactly. So what is our next type of microphone? It's a super cardioid microphone, of course. And examples of that are going to be a Sennheiser 416 or the uh, Aperture Deity microphone. You'll notice as we're progressing, the pickup patterns for these mics are getting narrower and narrower. This is where we get into shotgun microphones where the pattern is, it's real narrow. So if you're in a situation where you're maybe at a, a convention or like a sporting event or something like that, and you need to get very specific subject to subject type of sound, this is a microphone that you would probably want to use for that. The super cardioid microphone tends to be the most common boom microphone on film sets. And the reason for that is that when you are recording on film sets, you want just the dialogue as clean as possible. You don't want to hear the fabric rustling on the guy's clothes, so you want to just zoom in and go in, and especially if you're exterior when you can't control the sounds around you, super cardioid microphone is your best bet. The next mic we're gonna talk about is a hypercardioid microphone. And the pickup pattern for this, it's a little bit more egg-shaped, more kind of oval-like. So examples of this are going to be the uh, Sennheiser MKH-50. So when you're listening for different pickup patterns, what in particular are you listening for? For the fullness of it in particular, and also how good it is at canceling out all of those extraneous noises. Yeah. What kind of space we're in with the mic is also very important. What's the, the scenario that I'm gonna be using it in? Am I in a wide open space? Am I in a uh, you know a really small room? Things of that nature. So when would you use a hypercardioid microphone? A hypercardioid I would use for if I'm definitely in a smaller space and then also if you're having um, a lot of quieter tones to it, uh, it's a lot more intimate to me as a yeah. microphone. It sounds just very crisp and warm. The, the mics that I use in particular. Also, if you're doing two shots, it's a great microphone for actually picking up another character's dialogue if you wanna do that kind of thing. So there's your episode of Formative Film School with Stephen Herod. I'm Deb from the A-Team. Make sure to leave us a comment below with what's in your mic kit and tell us about why you chose each mic and what purpose it serves. We'll be picking the best comment and sending out a new version of our Aperture Deity microphone, which is now shipping. Uh, so like, subscribe, follow us, and we will catch you guys next time.